traders, welcome to the Asian preview from Privateer FX. Uh, New York markets were closed today, and uh, Canada as well. So North America pretty much shut down. The S&P futures, uh, they were trading, uh, didn't do a whole lot today. They were down a little bit. Um, back off these, these highs from last week and this FIBO that we've been watching. Can't get a daily close above it, so... For us, we you know we are thinking that uh, <clears throat> the next leg is down. You know, maybe there's a punch up to this 2800, but uh, we're sitting we're sitting kind of core short here with some stops over these highs. This 20 27.55 uh, dollar index was up a little bit today. Uh, you know, overall currencies seem rather quiet. Let's not forget about this bearish Aussie bar from uh, from Friday. stop up here at the two-thirds just below 80 cents we'll be watching this because this is kind of a bearish uh, it's not a bearish engulfing but it is a you know close to uh, an outside reversal lower day uh, euro dollar after the selling pressure again we had the bearish engulfing day here on friday after making a new high for this whole move consolidation today let's widen this out a little bit Dollar yen is is uh, is hanging in there after this uh, 105.50 test back on Friday. We are moving higher. This bullish hammer bar here on Friday. Um, still short this. Looking for you know kind of the 10 low 105s, high 104s in the next couple weeks. But we'd like to see uh, like to see this this little rally falter. Again, didn't do a whole lot today. The ranges were all generally pretty small. As far as economic data goes, we have um, uh, what do we have coming up here in Asia? We have PPI came out out of New Zealand. Nothing major there. RBA's assistant governor Bullock speaks, and we do have the RBA minutes. And then, uh, and then tomorrow in Europe, we've got. German PPI, uh, ZEW out of Germany. Uh, we also have a some of the three month, four week, six month, and two year auctions out of the U.S. The market will be watching those. It sounds like there's a lot of supply coming on, and then wage price index out of uh, Australia. So you know, not much in the U.S., not much in in Europe. You know, expecting uh, things to pick up a little bit tomorrow after the uh, the long holiday weekend in the U.S. So good luck trading. Keep your powder dry. Doesn't seem to be too many uh, short-term themes really playing out at the moment. And uh, we will uh, speak to you on the European Open. All the best.